Hello everyone and welcome to this q and I've not done one of these in a while. I think it's time for a little update in my life. So, on my Instagram, I asked people to ask me anything, say any assumptions that they have. And I got some interesting responses. Is Also, if you're on Instagram, it is just Paris Hedger. So, we're just going to get straight into it. And the first one, how did you tell your or ask your parents you wanted to do YouTube and how did they react? So, I don't think I actually told them or asked them. It just kind of happened. I did have like my old YouTube account and they just thought it was really weird. Looking back at it now, it is really weird. So, I didn't really tell them. She kind of just like found out and she was just like, oh my god. Um, get me in it, get me in it. We can be like the girls from Good Luck Charlie. And that's what she wants to be like. Teddy and her mum from Good Luck Charlie. Not gonna happen love. She was like excited. She didn't really care that much though. And my dad just like doesn't really understand it. Neither does my mum. They don't really understand what it is. Biggest and smallest goal for 2019. Um, I don't even, I haven't even thought of this. Um, I don't know if this is big or small, but I really want to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. I've got two main goals. Um, to get all A's by the end of this year, like have Sigma report and have all A's and reach a thousand subscribers. I don't know what's big or small, but yeah, I don't know. I haven't really thought of it. And also to save up $10,000 by the end of this year. So yeah, I don't know if they're big or small. Um, have you had your first kiss or you've had your first kiss? Uh, incorrect. No. I'm a single Pringle, not ready to mingle, um, haven't had my first kiss, haven't really had a boyfriend since year 7 and like before year 7 doesn't really count, so. Is Hannah Carlise actually nice? Um, yes she is, she's very nice, very funny, very fashionable, um, I love her confidence and just personality. Mum, current favourite songs or podcasts? I like Mother's Daughter by Miley Cyrus and podcast um, Rise and Conquer by Georgie Stevenson or The Health Code by Sarah Say. They don't really have many favourite songs because I don't listen to that much music. Do you think you failed your exams because I I think I failed mine? Um, I doubt you did, Amelia. I think you'll be fine. Um, actually, no. I felt pretty good about exams. There's like a few questions in each that got to me. Like, especially in the English one and science. But besides that, it was fine. Um, I think if you just, like, really pay attention in class and then know what the topic is and, like, the basics, then you'll be fine. Um, but, yeah, I don't think I failed. How did you find Sarah's Day YouTube channel? Um, I don't know. I, must, I think I've searched for something and then hers just came up. And I was like, oh, my God, she's interesting. I like her. And then I just started watching more and more, then I got like hooked and then yeah, that's how it all started. It was just really random. I remember I was sitting outside though. I don't remember what I looked up, but I remember that day. And then the week after I went to Sydney and she had this like fitness convention thing, but I couldn't go cause like it was sold out. But that was so weird. And I was literally outside of the building she was in and I like just discovered her. How long have you been playing soccer for? And thank you very much. Um, been playing soccer for one and a half seasons, so not very long. I'm not very good, but you know, I'm improving. I'm a defender, and yeah, so not long, but I'm definitely going to continue it every winter because I do love it. Um, what is your opinion on the Vedic philosophy? Um, I don't even know what that is. I did look it up, but I saw that and it just made no sense to my brain, so. I don't know. I don't really have an opinion because I don't understand it. But thank you for the interesting question. Yeah, I really like don't know what that means. Um, what do you want to do when you leave school? Um, definitely want to pursue like being in the editing and like film thing because I love editing videos, especially like holiday ones and little montages for the school. Um, I'm not sure. Something to do with travel and health and just like being social, but being my own boss. But yeah, I'm not too sure. I haven't got it all planned out yet. And... Last one. Best and worst thing about year 10. Best thing has been all the opportunities that I've had this year. I've learned so much and I don't know, I just, 
it's made me feel a lot more mature and like ready for university and like life, whatever I want to do. It's been very challenging, but I've loved every minute of it. And worst thing would probably be like the people, how some people are starting to change and girls are starting to come rude and like talk about each other behind their back, which is just really annoying me. Like I'm not about that life, please. I don't want any drama this year. I thought my whole life. So yeah, just the drama is a bit annoying because I think just people are getting bored so they want to cause drama. But yeah, not about that, thank you. So we're going to do a quick transition to another day. And I get lots of questions about what healthy snacks I like and food staples and you know what I eat at school. So I'm going to show you a few of my little staples. Recently, I have been loving these... Tom and Luke uh, snack ball packet. This I like the salted caramel. The ingredients are all natural. They're a good source of protein and fat and carbs. Got a good mixture of them all. They're pretty good for school. They're just easy to carry. I got these from Costco. So it's like the next day, just showing you guys. Um, and I am obsessed with these coconut clusters. They're very nice and sweet. They've got a good source of healthy fat. They've got pumpkin seeds. Um, sunflower seeds and chia seeds and I love them. Another staple is definitely yogurt. I haven't got need to show you, but I love Yopro so, so, so much. It's not like normal yogurt. It's a lot thicker and it's high in protein and low in the fats that you'd get in cow's milk. But I absolutely love it. I love the vanilla flavor and coconut at the moment. I'm very much off the plane. And I will have that with fruit, the coconut clusters, granola, peanut butter, a topper on top of things. My arm is so sore. I just went to the gym and like, I literally cannot hold my camera. Crunchy peanut butter or just normal 100% natural peanut butter is definitely a staple in my pantry. I have it on like everything and anything. If you don't like peanut butter, you are cray cray. Black rice, I have a lot as well. Zambrero introduced me to this. I got this from Costco as well. And it's rich in antioxidants, full of protein, low GI, which means it will give you stabilized energy levels, um, gluten-free, fat-free, and high in iron. This is good because me as a non-red meat eater, my iron levels are probably low. I don't know. And then, of course, for fruit staples, it's like bananas, strawberries, the cheap ones. Um, just depends what's in season. And yeah, they're mainly my school snacks. I don't adventure too much out, but I want to start trying some like hummus and like dip and stuff with some crackers because I'm most of my things are sweet and I want to have some more savory stuff. But yeah, for school, I most of my snacks, as you can tell, probably um, high in healthy fats and protein just because it keeps me fuller for a lot longer so then I'm not getting hungry in class. And then like my lunch going to be either like a roll or pasta or leftover dinner so yeah they are some of the healthy snacks i 100 percent recommend these also if you are not gluten intolerant then i would highly recommend getting on some oats there are gluten-free oats haven't even tried them but you know i love oats they keep me full for a pretty long time they are low gi which means they release your energy slowly there are so many options that you can do with them you just don't need to have them plain i have them with almond and coconut milk peanut butter sometimes protein powder fruit sometimes vegan chocolate coconut flakes you know there's so much you can do with them depending on what you like you can chuck them in smoothies i just love them so yeah i think that wraps up this video it's very quick short sharp shiny um going to costco now and i'll catch you all in my next video